Hi, I'm Russ Williams, co-host of the Small Town Big Business Podcast, and I'm here with our new co-host, Jennifer Olson. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. Glad to be here. Well, I'm glad you're here, too. (laughs) You are our brand new co-host, and I appreciate you taking that roll on. Hey, it like gives me a good break in the day, and as much as I get to interact with entrepreneurs, this is more of a deep dive, honestly, than I get to do day to day. Yeah, and you mentioned in during another podcast recording that really it's not about us, but it's really focusing and featuring our small town business owners. Yeah, you know, we got to hear it from the people who are willing to like put the mortgage on the line and take the risk. But let's take a moment and talk about who is Jennifer Olson. Tell us about yourself. Um, So my current role is Director of Business Development at the City of Marion. And so what is that? That's a good question. I call myself like the utility player of your baseball team. I do a lot of all other duties as a sign, but really my main goal is to serve as a navigator for businesses to help them grow and be successful. We don't want them to have to run to 25 departments before they get to the right person. If they can start with me, I can hopefully guide them down a good path. And where are you from? Tell us about family and home and then other business things that you've been involved in. Sure. So I grew up in Pinckneyville, went to McKendree College, and then I guess came home to Southern Illinois. Um, which was kind of a surprise because my husband is kind of a from all over guy, uh, born in Phoenix, raised in San Diego. His closest brush with where we are now in Southern Illinois was he did graduate Collinsville High School. So he's a Cahawk. Um, And so we uh, raised our kids in Carterville, um, starting out with getting married in 97. And so... Um, they are pretty much grown and flown. Our oldest is a in her second year of teaching at Carterville, um, and she's an SIU graduate. And our youngest is in her junior year at Ole Miss. And uh, we always thought we would be at Lake of Egypt full-time because we had a place for some summertime down there. Um, COVID expedited that when we were all remote working, remote learning. So we're blessed to call ourselves full timers at the uh, Lake of Egypt. Yeah. And I know you, gotten to know you through mastermind groups. Mm-hmm. And at that time, you were becoming the Carbondale Chamber of Commerce Director. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting because my path seems very windy, but there are some common elements. Um, So my first, I call it my grown up job here in Southern Illinois was marketing director of University Mall in the late 90s, early 2000s when malls were still hopping. Um, Then I had the girls and they are 22 months apart and my husband has uh, his own business. So I needed something much more family friendly without nights and weekends. So transitioned into banking where I did um, cash management and commercial lending for 15 years and then um, was looking for something different and um, really had some, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say change of heart, but a little bit of change of path after going through the Delta Regional Authority Leadership Academy, which is a year-long leadership training. So after that, um, I took some time, started a um, small business, which is the lookout at the lake that Allison, former, yeah, yeah, Allison manages through Southern Illinois Vacation Rental now that I'm back in the full-time workforce. So when I came back into the workforce, I served as CEO of Carbondale Chamber. And from there, uh, went to a regional uh, economic development group um, called Greater Egypt and work with them um, through some supplemental CARES Act and uh, money. And that was very heavy uh, grant writing. So as much as I'm excited to say that um, I got to be a part of, with my team, of writing for about $20 million in funding for Southern Illinois, it just wasn't people enough. Yeah. And I kept getting the pull to get back face to face with people. And so had some conversations with Mayor Absher and here I am. So those common threads, um, I love entrepreneurs and entrepreneur, I'm, they're, they're my favorite people. 
Um, I like marketing. I love our area and I just want to see people be successful. And so just anything we can do to bring resources to our our small businesses and help them grow and, and find success. Excellent. How could somebody reach you? So I'm at City Hall. Um, and so you're welcome to stop in there. And if I'm not there, somebody can help you get a hold of me. Um, otherwise, um, I'm, LinkedIn is a great way to get my contact information that's super easy. Or um, you can just uh, pick up a card and we'll get back to you. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you again for being thank co-host, you. Small Town Big Business. I'm really looking forward to the podcast that we have not recorded yet. <laughs> so, Yeah, I, I can't wait. And it's just such a great platform for people to tell their story and share their wisdom. Yeah. And thank you for being a supporter of Small Town Big Business.